Hey Star Trek fans, Dan Gunther here. Big day today, we have new Star Trek to watch, which is really exciting. Two episodes of Short Treks dropped today. The Girl Who Made the Stars and Ephraim and Dot. I will be doing reviews of both of these episodes. This video deals with the episode Ephraim and Dot. Now these two animated entries of Short Treks are very different than anything we've gotten in Star Trek before. Star Trek hasn't been animated since the so-called animated series of the 70s. And this is definitely a shifting of gears for the franchise. This episode in particular is definitely geared towards children. I have to say it came across as kind of a love letter to Star Trek. There are a lot of little references to uh, historic moments from Star Trek, the original series, as well as, interestingly enough, the Star Trek films, uh, particularly the destruction of the Enterprise in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. This was a big surprise to me. I was really happy to see the refit Enterprise on screen for the first time in a long time. That's my favorite design of the Enterprise, so that little uh, nod to it here was very welcome. The story follows the path of a mother tardigrade laying her eggs on the USS Enterprise early during her five-year mission. Uh, we see in the background of some scenes uh, clips from the episodes Space Seed and The Naked Time using audio from those episodes to kind of supplement what's happening. It was fun to see the classic uniforms as well, as well as hear the voices of the original Star Trek cast. Uh, I was not expecting that. It was just kind of a nice little nod to canon Star Trek. During the course of her adventure, the Tardigrade is pursued by a DOT-7 um, robot, kind of like the ones that we see in the Discovery season finale, Such Sweet Sorrow Part 2. The robot sees the Tardigrade as an invader on the Enterprise and attempts to uh, expel it from the ship. However, before the tardigrade is forced off the ship, she has laid her eggs, which the DOT robot notices as the Enterprise is being self-destructed in orbit of the Genesis planet in Star Trek III. The robot saves the eggs and is able to return the newly hatched tardigrades to the mother tardigrade after the Enterprise is destroyed. So definitely very different than any Star Treks we've seen before. I find myself having a bit of a hard time reviewing it because I'm obviously not the target audience to this. This is definitely geared more towards children. But as a fan of Star Trek, I did enjoy the little references. The animation style was a lot of fun as well. A little bit silly at times, but I definitely see what they're going for. A huge highlight of it that I want to point out, though, is the music of the episode. This is kind of not a surprise, given that it was directed by Michael Giacchino, famed composer of many films, including the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek films. The music just fits perfectly. There's a lot of little nods to original series music cues. Uh, there's even one sequence where we see the Enterprise battling the Reliant in Star Trek II, and the music kind of uh, echoes some of my favorite tracks from that soundtrack as well. So uh, some really great stuff with the music really feels like an homage to a lot of great moments in Star Trek. So how about you guys? Did you see the episode Ephraim and Dot? And if so, what did you think about it? Leave your comments in the comments section below. I understand this is probably going to divide a lot of people. Uh, it's very different for Star Trek. But that said, I do like what they're doing with Short Treks. I do like the experimental uh, facet of this project and the fact that not everything is going to appeal to everyone is kind of one of the features not a bug there's going to be a lot of people that find something interesting in this i've already seen online people asking is this appropriate for my kids to watch can they watch this absolutely yes this is definitely geared towards children and i think this will be a really fun way to get kids into star trek who maybe haven't been watching it before so uh, yeah, some really good stuff here. Maybe not for everyone, but definitely enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks to the Patreon supporters for bringing these videos to you. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.